வணக்கம் வி ஆல் ஹேர்ட் அபவுட் தி புல் அவுட் சூச்சர் தட் இஸ் சம்டைம்ஸ் யூஸ்ட் வென் யூ நீட் டு அட்டாச் டெண்டன் டு போன் பட் ஹவு இஸ் இட் ஆக்சுவலி டன் ஆக்சுவலி இட் கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் அ சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்மால் ஸ்டெப்ஸ் அண்ட் இஃப் யூ மேக் அ மிஸ்டேக் இன் ஒன் ஸ்டெப் இட்ஸ் கோயிங் டு பி லிட்டில் பிட் ஆஃப் எம்பேரஸ்மெண்ட் ஃபார் த சர்ஜன் ஸோ திஸ் வீடியோ இஸ் கோயிங் டு டாக் அபவுட் தி எக்ஸாக்ட் டெக்னிக் ஆஃப் டூயிங் அ புல் அவுட் சூச்சர் அண்ட் த கேஸ் டெமான்ஸ்ட்ரேட்டட் ஹியர் is an extensor tendon injury where the extensor tendon has got avulsed from the dorsum of the terminal phalangeal region and it is being attached back to the bone the term pull out suture refers to the technique of attaching tendon to bone with a suture that can be removed or pulled out the indications for such pull out sutures are for attaching flexor tendon to bone as in the case of avulsion of the flexor digitorum profundus or the jersey finger where it is attached by the technique of bunnel it can also be used in reattaching extensor tendon to bone as in avulsion of the extensor tendon in zone 1 or zone 3 where it can be attached by a pull out suture is this the only way of attaching a tendon to bone or are there any alternatives the commonly used alternative is the anchor suture which consists of a screw which sits inside the bone where the tendon is to be attached and it has two sutures with needles which can be used to attach to the avulsed tendon the advantages of the pull out suture are that it is less expensive and provides as strong a healing as the anchor suture of course it has some disadvantages too the surgical technique is a little cumbersome and immobilization period is longer and it needs regular follow up this manual laborer 30 years old sustained injuries on his dominant right hand one year back and at that time he had an open injury on the dorsum of the distal interphalangeal joint of the right hand ring finger and a skin loss over the metacarpophalangeal joint region a skin grafting was done immediately for the raw area on the hand and repair of the extensor tendon was done at the level of zone 1 subsequently he was advised to wear the splint but he was not very regular in wearing the splint he has now presented with a mallet deformity there is no obvious one neck deformity and the skin graft has settled well on the dorsum of the metacarpophalangeal joint of the ring finger the passive range of movement is full and free at the level of the distal interphalangeal joint x ray reveals no bony malunion or non union on the terminal phalangeal region in this sort of chronic mallet finger the indications for surgery and in this case the indication for the pull out suture are for doyle type 1 injuries where there has been only a tendon avulsion or with a chip fracture the mainstay of management is splinting if the splinting fails or if the patient presents late that is beyond 6 months as in this case and if there is no swan neck deformity the pull out suture technique can be used to reattach the extensor tendon to the bone in zone 1 So here you can make out this small sinus. Okay, I'm going to excise that. I'm going to make an incision over here. It is first to see what the status of the bone is. Okay, so my incision will go. It is already in the scar there. So I'll excise the scar and make it like this. Yes. Usually I'll make a cross finger flap like incision. Okay. And raise the flap so you'll have good exposure. But here since it's already an incision, mm. I'll make the same incision, extend it distally and proximally. Okay. Right. After giving the regional block, which was a supra clavicular block. the right hand was painted and draped and the tunicae raised the incision was made as planned now this was the incision that i made okay retracted both ends then i found that the tendon forceps thing yeah that the tendon is over here here okay okay so i'm planning to use reattach this tendon to the uh terminal phalanx base so i dissected the base of the, this is the joint you can make out the open joint of the interphalangeal distal full joint this is the base of the terminal phalanx this is where i'm going to attach the tendon this tendon is going to get attached over here okay 
First, we need to dissect the base of the terminal phalanx and make it raw. We can use a number 15 blade to shave the articular cartilage at this area and then nibble a bit of the bone so that the tendon can get attached to a raw area on the bone. Now we take an 18 gauge needle, break the hub away and then use the needle alone. This needle has to be passed with a drill. Entering through the radial side of the raw area we have created on the dorsal aspect of the terminal phalanx and exiting on the tip of the finger. So this needle passes longitudinally but slightly oblique from the dorsum to the tuft of the terminal phalanx of the finger. Now the drill is disconnected and a 3-0 polypropylene suture is taken. The free end of this suture is passed through the proximal end of the needle to exit on the outside that is from the tip of the finger. The end of the suture is grasped and pulled for some distance. The needle is then taken out from the distal end and the drill is used for this purpose. Remember the 3-0 polypropylene suture material is now passing through the longitudinal drill hole the end with the needle is proximal and the free end is distal. With this needle end, a bite is taken through the free distal end of the avulsed extensor tendon in the form of a horizontal mattress suture. Leaving the suture tendon aside, another longitudinal drill hole is passed just as done earlier, but this time from the ulnar side of the raw area on the dorsal aspect of the base of terminal phalanx. This needle should exit about 5 mm to the ulnar side of the previous hole. Now the needle is cut from the suture. The free end is then threaded through the recently passed needle to exit at the tip of the finger alongside the previously passed suture. The needle is then removed with the help of the drill. Now the two ends of the suture are ready to be tied and when they are tied, the tendon will go and sit in the raw area created on the bone. However, we shall not tie the suture immediately as this suture has to be left on for almost 6 weeks. And this suture may cause a problem in the skin. So we shall be suturing it over a button. The button we will be using is a very indigenous button. That is, the wings of the scalp vein set that are very commonly available. One of the wings is cut and used as a button. Two small holes are made with a needle about 5 mm apart through which the free ends of the suture material are threaded. And then we will keep it over here okay? and then we will tie it over this. But before that, before that we need to put in a K-wire through this and stabilize the joint. An axial K-wire has been passed fixing the distal interphalangeal joint in neutral position that is in 0 degrees. We need to make sure that the proximal interphalangeal joint is free and not restricted by the K-wire. The wire is now cut about 1 cm from the skin on the tip of the finger. The free ends of the 3-0 polypropylene suture material are now tied over the button that we have placed. Now we can see that the extensor tendon is snugly fitting into the dorsum of the terminal phalangeal region where it has got its new insertion. The skin is closed after securing hemostasis. This shows the final suture line, the position of the distal interphalangeal joint and the position of the pull-out suture over the button. Following suturing, a below elbow volar POP slab should be applied. With the wrist in 10 degrees extension, metacarpophalangeal joints in 90 degree flexion and the proximal interphalangeal joint in neutral position. The POP is retained for 2 weeks after which it is removed. The sutures are also removed at the end of 2 weeks. Mobilization is then advised for all joints of the fingers except the distal interphalangeal joint of the ring finger. The K wire is usually removed at 4 weeks since we do not want any pin tract infection. Immediately after removing the K wire, a mallet splint is applied which needs to be worn for 24 hours a day. At the end of 6 weeks, the pull-out suture is removed and night mallet splint is advised for a further 4 weeks. This is the result at the end of 6 weeks. Now the pull-out suture is going to be removed and 
a night splint is going to be applied for a further 4 weeks. I hope you liked the video. I enjoyed making it. Please click on the shown links to see more about the extensor tendon injuries in different zones and the mallet finger specifically. And do not forget to subscribe to stay connected with the latest in learning hand surgery, plastic surgery and trauma surgery. Vanakkam.